Is your vintage Kirby suffering from a floppy headlight? Then this is a video for you. But don't forget everything used in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a tutorial and I've had this one requested. There's a lot of people out there with vintage Kirby's and over time, that headlight is just gonna flop, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Now, I've got a few tips on how to fix this and there will be some more tips at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around to the very end. Hi okay, Kerry fans, so today I'm not gonna be working on the classic three, but I just brought this in to demonstrate. So this is what I mean by a floppy headlight. This headlight's pretty sound, I mean this is 1978. And you can see whatever position you put that in, it stays perfectly. Now, there has been a few issues with a lot of Legend 2s and a lot of the old heritage. What happened is obviously Kirby changed the design a little bit with the hood, and I'll show you on the Legend 2 what's happening and what's causing it to flop and how we're gonna fix it. Well, so what we've got is a bit of a Kirby that I sort of ravaged for parts, and this is a Legend 2. Now, this has got that issue. So if we lift the hood, it just flops. There it's sticking, but you can see it just drops. And that's what a lot of people have. Now, I have attempted to fix this and I've figured out how to do it. There is a temporary measure and that doesn't work, <laughs> which I'll demonstrate what that is. Because over time, you just end up with that going back to that again. So every time you lift it all the way up, obviously that stays, but this one did flop consistently. There's a few tools you're gonna need. You're obviously need a hammer, a couple of center punches, Phillips screwdriver, pair of snips or a pair of pliers. We'll get it took apart first for a time lapse and then I'll show you what the issue is and how to fix it. Now we've got it to this stage, it's pretty simple from now on. So you're gonna lower that down. You don't have to remove the back wheels as I, as I did. There was no back wheels on this. Obviously there was back wheels on the one I first showed you. But this is, I haven't got any back wheels because they broke. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Now what happens, this part here wears. So I'll zoom in and show you what it does. Right, so as you can see, when we lift this hood, there's a center pin that goes through here. Now this center pin, what that does is that holds tight, sort of clamps on that outer aluminium. And over time that will wear. And that's what causes this to just flop, like so. Now the only way around it is obviously you want to open that up. Now there is an option, and I have done this in the past, but it doesn't seem to last. So you can get just on the, on the right hand side of your Kirby, because you see on this part here, this is actually flush, and on the other side, it's actually stuck in about a quarter of an inch. Now you can't get these out, I have tried. You could probably drill them out and replace it with another bar, that's entirely up to you, but I've found that there's an easy and simple way to do this. And it's, it's pretty, pretty replaceable as you go. Now, what you wanna do is open it up, the bar was on about and that slides all the way through. As you can see, what it's got is it's got a split in it, so it will open up and it's pretty simple to do. But again, over time, it will close or it will wear away at the aluminium. What we're gonna do now is just temporarily fix it with a nail punch. So you're just gonna get your nail punch and you're just gonna place it in the center of that. Now what we're gonna do is just give that a couple of taps with the hammer, wiggle that around to get it out. And what you'll notice now is it's still floppy, yeah? If we put the punch in there, that now is nice and stiff because it's opened up. Now obviously we can't leave a punch in there. A punch isn't gonna do the job. But there is a simple solution for that. So now we've sort of opened that up. Again, it's, it's not as stiff as, we, as we'd like it, but there's a really simple fix and you'll be shocked what it is. <laughs> so it's currently 42 degrees and I'm sweating like there's no tomorrow. Right, so to fix this, we can't leave a center punch in. So we're gonna need something else. And all it is, is a pot rivet. Simple as that. 
Now these are stainless steel ones, you can use aluminium ones. Aluminium ones will work just as well. All I'm gonna do is literally cut the end off one of these. Now these are a 6.2. I will put a link in the description below of where to get them from as well. And these work a treat. So all we're gonna do is get a pair of pliers and we're just gonna snip off literally about an eighth of an inch off there. So all we're gonna do is get our pliers. If it's aluminium, obviously it'll cut a lot easier. Just press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, all the way around. What that will do eventually, if you look, it's starting to mark it. So it's gonna wear and cut a groove and a piece off the end of there. So I have cut one earlier, which I've got right here. So what we're gonna do is just tap this in the middle of there and you'll see the difference straight away. So here's our piece we cut off and this is the bit we're gonna be knocking in there. So we're just gonna put that in the middle there. Like so, you can see it fits perfectly. And I'm just gonna give that a tap. Simple as that. Right, so you can see now that that has actually opened up the aluminium and made it a little bit tighter. Now this is literally a really good fit. Like I said, it's a 6.2 and I will put a link on where to get them from down in the description below. But that now is compressed that against there. If you want, because it's aluminium, you can drill that back out at some point. If you want, you don't have to, but this is gonna last you a lifetime because that now is compressing that and I found this works really well. Now I have done this on a couple of Kirby's. This is just an old Kirby that I keep for spares and it just, it works a treat, which I'll show you. So now we've got that in, we're just gonna give that some lubrication. I'm just gonna use a little bit of silicon spray. So I'm just gonna reassemble our Kirby. See now the hood, when we lift it, it's not dropping. Lift it up, all the way, move it down, whichever position you want that in, it will sit at that position. So now it's as stiff as when it was new. And don't forget everything you used in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Now for those of you looking at servicing your vintage Kirby, check out this video. And for those of you looking at servicing your generation Kirby, check out this video. So thanks for watching, happy cleaning, and I'll catch you in the next one.